Thank you to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. Can I take your order, please? Do you know what? I think I'll have my usual, please. Don't you fancy one of our specials? Uh, I'm not sure, really. I, I'm not keen on change. I'll go on then. I'll give it a whirl. And can I get you a side of AG1 with that? You see, despite many comments that suggest current drivers are too expensive, when a cheaper alternative rears its head, you tend to look the other way. This is the new Cleveland XL2 driver, and I'm going to give you five reasons why you shouldn't buy this driver. Number one, this driver contains unique technology that you won't find in other more expensive drivers. The last thing I need is someone thinking outside the box. Two, this driver looks incredibly good. Arguably one of the best looking drivers of 2024, both on the sole and the crown. But then who wants a good looking driver in the bag? Number three, this driver performs as any other driver I have tested on Trackman this year. Number four, this driver has unique adjustability that can't be found in other more expensive drivers. How dare they provide me with such flexibility and options. And finally, number five, this driver costs 25% less than other leading brands who have released new drivers in 2024. I mean, I know we say we aren't happy with the extortionate cost of new drivers, but we still want to buy them. So to recap, cheaper, more tech, looks better, more adjustability. Of course you shouldn't buy this driver. Oh, and one more reason. This head cover goes on far too smoothly. I prefer a struggle. When you walk in a pro shop, what's the first thing that catches your eye? Is it the brand, is it the looks, or is it the price? When you go into a custom fit, you're likely to try every other brand before Cleveland. My guess is in many cases, it'll be the last driver you are handed to by a fitter also. But whilst we shift our irony to one side, there are some possible genuine reasons why Cleveland do have a problem shifting these drivers. The first one being last year's model is selling for £180 right now, which has numerous problems. It suggests, first of all, that the resale value won't be great. Also, the tech in last year's model is pretty much the same story as this new model. So today's video is sponsored by AG1. The question is, what is it? And what makes it so good? Well, AG1 is a comprehensive and convenient supplement with over 70 high quality ingredients in one simple scoop that supports physical and mental health. So I've been using AG1 for the past couple of weeks and I've already noticed positive results in my energy levels, better focus and less fatigue. The idea that I'm taking on board a whole load of vitamins and nutrients every day has also had a positive impact mentally knowing that I'm putting a lot of good things in my body without making big changes to my daily diet or my lifestyle. And it's now become an effortless daily habit. I make this every morning. It's super simple. One scoop of AG1 added to 250 ml of water. I like to add a bit of ice, give it a quick shake, and you're good to go. In addition to sponsoring the video, AG1 has offered viewers of the channel a big discount if you fancy on giving this one a whirl yourself. Simply go to drinkag1.com forward slash average golfer or scan the QR code that's on the screen right now and you'll save 20% when you subscribe. You'll also receive a free one year supply of AG vitamin D3 and K2 and five AG1 travel packs with your first purchase. Thanks again to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. 
One big problem is I don't know any golfer on tour that games a Cleveland driver. And whether we like it or not, the idea of no tour presence is certainly not helping. The marketing of this product is way behind and again we as consumers complain when the big boys roll out the marketing campaigns, but like it or not, it works. Now one of my main issues with this driver is not performance but sound and feel. The sound is pretty horrendous and as firm as it gets off the club face and definitely a step backwards in my opinion from Cleveland, but then for some people sound is no big deal so it shouldn't matter. One noticeable thing on course was the difference in performance between the lofts. This thing can move between 9 degrees and 12 degrees, which is pretty much unheard of in most driver technology. What I was able to see was very, very different ball flights from when I set the driver at 9 degrees, and then when I set it to the other end of the spectrum at 12, there was a noticeable difference in ball flight. And I just love the fact that Cleveland have given you so much adjustability within one driver head. So when you next browse the menu, you can take a chance or... That was okay, but to be honest with you, I'll probably stick to my usual next time. <laughs> <laughs>